Okay, four, primary resistance training goes. Hypertrophy is the second one that we're gonna talk about today. Hypertrophy, the definition of that is basically an increase in muscle size. So we deal with this a lot when we're talking about clients. If you're working um, in a fitness center or just you have your own personal training um, company, within that you're gonna hear a lot of your clients say, I want my arms to be bigger, I wanna be more sculpted, maybe I wanna lose some body fat, I wanna change my body shape, all these types of different things. That's where we're talking about hypertrophy. And when, when we hear those goals for our clients, this is the training program that we want to put together and it's one of the ones that you need to associate yourself with the most because that's probably what you're going to be dealing with the most. So within that, on the repetitions, we're going to be working between 6 and 12 repetitions in this training program. It's going to be intermediate to advanced, but in your volume load, we're, we're talking about moderate to high loads. Um, so within that, your one rep max, a percentage of your one rep max, we're talking about 67% up to 85% of your one rep max. You want to stay within that. So if you get up to 85%, we're going to probably be around the more six to seven reps. If you're down lower at 67, you're probably going to work with the higher reps within that. On the sets part of it, we're going to be working three to five sets. We don't want to go any higher than, than five. We want to stay uh, to at least three, minimum three, but we can work up to five within that. And then our rest time in between these is going to be 30 seconds to a minute and a half. You want to stay within that because we don't want to make it a muscular endurance and go less than 30 seconds or a maximum of 30 seconds. So 30 seconds to a minute and five will work for your rest time when you're trying to put together a hypertrophy training program.